Hello everybody, it is Tuesday and I am home from work. I'm wearing my Santa Claus sweater that I wore to work today because the theme today was like wear green. So that's what I was wearing today. Let me not show you my laundry again, but I had a little bit of a rough night. So to be clear about yesterday's vlog, like I know what it means when your fire detector beeps. That means your smoke detector, the battery is low, but the one that we thought it was, we had already changed the batteries in that last year and it went off at one o'clock and it only beeped twice and so i had replaced the batteries before bed and it still beeped freaked lily out she was trying to go under my bed and i don't want her under my bed because it's not that much room and she's you know, she's like a bigger dog she's a small dog but she's not like darcy size so darcy gets under my bed all the time when she's feeling weird and lily goes under my bed when she's like really scared of something so i've stuffed pillows under there to try to make her not go under there because i just want her to not get stuck under there so she tried going to the bed and then i brought her back out and then i was like well the last time it went off was five and now it's one it's gonna be fine till the morning i'll just check it out in the morning no it went off at four and it's just like two beeps and that's it it's like beep and then a minute and then beep so when it went off at four i just went downstairs ripped the batteries out of that carbon monoxide detector because that's what it really was and as I was taking the, them out like preparing to it beeped again and the fault light lit up so I don't know if it's just broken but we have like four carbon monoxide detectors in my house already so the batteries are out of it and I'm done with that so we'll replace it at some point but it's not dire and it was ugh, I'm just tired I went to bed at 11 because I was editing the video so yeah also I realized my meetings tomorrow I do have a meeting after school tomorrow. I was looking at the wrong week because I have a meeting fourth period on Wednesday, both this week and next week. So I was looking at next week. So I have to work out today and I was looking forward to just like coming home and reading, but I have to go work out. But I'm kind of excited because I'm really loving Joanna Shoup's book. So that's what gets me excited to work out is my books. I told you guys, I listen to audiobooks when I run outside and eBooks when I run inside. And that's what motivates me to work out because I pick really good books that I'm not allowed to touch unless I'm doing those exercises so i'm definitely going to finish this today i'm well, almost page 40 and it's only like 110 pages so i'll read probably another 40 pages and then read the rest tonight my sister has a work dinner so she's leaving tonight so i'm alone again um she when she gets back though we'll probably watch below deck so i might do some more bullet journaling but we'll see i'll try to edit a little earlier tonight because my video was almost 30 minutes yesterday so it's a long time but i did start this I'm not loving it. I'm so sad. It's pretty boring and we keep on getting these random characters that I don't care about and I'm not loving the narrator's voice but I'm going to push through because I want to finish this because it is the group book. I probably, I don't know, I hate DNFing books. I'm already 30% in so I feel like I might as well just read the rest. So I might listen to some more tonight but I, I don't know if I want to while I work on my bullet journal, but it seems like you guys are enjoying that. So I'm excited you guys like that for my last video. But this one, it's just like they meet and she's got a baby, but she's never taken care of a baby before. I was so confused when this started because like I could not understand the accent and it's written like that. I'm trying to read it. And so the innkeeper said like everything's full. He knows how to deal with kids and she doesn't. And so he's been helping her. So he's staying with her and they meet and he helps her with her child. It's, someone was messaging me on Instagram and they're like, how many times are they going to change this baby's diaper? Like, it's just all about them taking care of this baby. And it's really boring. And I got to the part now where they're attracted to each other. But it's just, like, I don't care. And then we know that, like, her brothers are supposed to come. And I just, like, don't care about any of these characters. And I feel bad. I hate it when we pick a book that we don't like. Because the couple last couple of readathons, I've really enjoyed the books. But this one's just so boring. And now they're just, like, spending the nights together taking care of the child. And not, like, spending the nights together, but, like, sleeping in the same bed. And because, like, she made the excuse, like, oh, well, I wanted fire in only one room and not, like, the two rooms. And so they're taking care of the child together. And that's really all this book is. So I don't know if it's going to get better, like, when people come into the picture. But... Not gonna lie, I'm pretty bored. Let me know if you've read Grace Burroughs though because I have other books by her that I'm excited to read. One's A Marriage in Trouble, one's called The Laird, and so like I have some of her books. She's got like a ton of her backlist, but this is just boring. So yeah, she's at the mansion. She is a lady, so this does count for the lady. And he ends up um, saving her and then staying with her, so yeah. But I don't know how they wouldn't like ruin her reputation. I don't know. But I did end up starting The Princess and the Rogue. I'm only like 15 pages into that. I left it downstairs. I'm enjoying that as well. She's a princess and they had to like destroy a crown and at one point like eat <laughs> the jewels just so they had for sure money 
in case they were robbed or something so it's interesting and then a year passed and he's a Bow Street Runner and I really love Bow Street Runner romances so I plan on reading a lot of that tonight and then hopefully I can finish this tomorrow but we will see I did end up having Hall of Duty today so I read a lot of it today I'm four and a half hours into the audiobook now no four hours I think I'm like around four hours into the audiobook because I listened to it on the way home I finished Perils of Pleasure I forgot to tell you that so I did finish Perils of Pleasure and I'm giving that one three stars it was just fine the ending was fine like everything that I told you guys yesterday it was just okay it was mostly focused on this mystery and them running uh, like from people and that's really it so kind of disappointing this is disappointing though i did love wallflower christmas so we'll see what i get done i am going to go change so i can work out and hang out with my dogs and have fun doing some bullet journal stuff and then i don't know what else i want to do i'm on my own for dinner i don't know what i want to make but we'll see so i will talk to you guys after i've worked out and probably after i finish doing a shoops book which i'm very excited to finish all right so i was working on a new spread that I really love that this tape is not sticking down. So this is going to be my Sophie Lark and Gianna Darling page. I didn't mean to write the titles in the thick pen. So in the, here I wrote with my Sharpie just pen and not my fine line tip pen, whatever it's called. But I accidentally started writing the titles. But it's just a little thing that I didn't mean to do that I'm kind of annoyed about. But and this tick sticking? It's not sticking. We'll see if I can put some like glue under there. But I love this washi. It's actually simply gilded. I forgot about who it was yesterday. But if you want to look at like all my previous pages, check out yesterday's vlog. But this is just what I did today. This is probably what I'm going to stop doing. Just one page today. Maybe figure out what kind of other authors I want to track or what series I want to track in here. So yeah, that's Sophie Lark, TBR, Jana Darling, all of their series and all the books crossed out that I've already read very very excited i just love the moon washi i think i'm gonna sign up for simply gilded's subscription of their washi tape because it's 21 dollars a month and you get like a ton of washi tape and i love their washi tape so much it's what i used on which one did i use that on pretty sure this right here is simply gilded which i love so i did another page I like doing like a page a day, so we'll probably stick to that, but I want to show that to you. Listen to some more of the audio. It's not that great, but you know, it's fine. I'm trucking along. I'm going to go read Joanna Shoop's book and update you guys when I have finished that. Do you see how this puppy is squished in my lap? My feet, my leg, my leg, my puppy. Darcy got upset, but she's right here with me. Yes. Normally they're switched, but Lily got here first. So we just had Mr. Oh, Mr. C. Hello from my favorite spot on the couch. It is 6.30 and I just finished the Joanna Shoot book and I'm giving it five stars. It was so cute. I loved the daughter. She's nine or ten I think and adorable. I loved what she did at the end. I loved how they fell for each other, the hero and the heroine, and how they like went out town together. But of course you knew it was going to come out that he was the owner of the store and she was going to get upset. But I really loved the conclusion and I loved the New York setting. I loved the time period. I love that they worked for a department store. That was really cool. And it was just the cutest. It was only 100 pages, but I think it was definitely like the perfect length. I didn't feel like I was missing anything. I will say I would have loved if this was a full length novel though, because I could have read about these characters for an entire book, but super cute, five stars. That was my third finished thing. I finished three things already. Wow, it's only day two. I finished an audiobook that I'd started early and then a 200 page book and a 100 page book and then I have my next book that I need to start reading so I'm like 15 pages into this but I'm excited I didn't realize it's a 2021 release either and I want to show you my SJ Wonderland's bookmark so these are like their 12 days of Christmas bookmarks I got the pack I got some for Christmas presents and some for myself so this one says merry christmas to me and she's holding a bunch of books i did end up ordering that subscription box for from simply gilded of washi tape it already showed what's in this boxes and it's super cute so i got the subscription of the washi tape only i don't use a ton of like stickers and stuff and like other things while i do my bullet journal it's mostly just my pens my markers and my washi tape so 
It's $21 and only $4 shipping, so it's $25 a month. We'll see how many months I get. I probably won't keep it for too long, so I don't need that much washi tape, but just a fun little surprise each month. I'm really excited for that, and yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go read this and update you guys once I've read a little bit more. My sister's not home yet still. She's still at dinner, but I have to watch my below deck with her when she gets home, and then I'll update you guys again. I'm kind of tired from last night, so I was reading up on page about 40 and then I was like dozing off. But it's a good book so far, it's really funny actually. But my sister just got home and we're gonna watch our show and it's already 7.30 so it's gonna go until like 8 or something. So I wanna be able to edit while we watch our show because I'm not about to stay up until 11 again and be woken up twice and not get a lot of sleep. So I will just say this one, this is so good so far. She helps women at a brothel and she like helps them like learn to read and write and stuff. And he shows up and he's like, I want her and it's our heroine. And so that's how they meet. Oh my God, it's so funny. So I don't know what else is gonna happen next, but I really love how they meet. And he's trying to find like a Russian killer who like betrayed the, them, I think for something, I don't know but because she's Russian and she knows who betrayed people because someone from her past, yeah. So good so far, but that's all. It's pretty a kind of a shorter reading vlog, but that's all I have to share with you for today. So I'm gonna read more of this tonight and then finish the Lady Sophie's Christmas Wish tomorrow. Even though more people have been hating it, I've not seen a single good review for this book so far, which I feel so bad about because it was our group book, but that's okay. I am gonna go. I had to put this on because it's freezing outside. It's like 25 degrees, but um, that's all I have. I'll see you guys tomorrow and thanks for watching. Bye.